What's up? <laughs> That's creepy. What? It still looked the same. You think so? I think so. I don't know what you're looking for. Like I felt like I look dark back there. Like you can't see. It might be I'm gonna just cut the light, the light on. on. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna just cut the light off. What's up, guys? Hello. We're taking we this back. wig off. We went to the pool. We are back. We're about to remove this wig. And this is the wig. I don't know if y'all was on the live earlier, but. Or yesterday. We put this wig on yesterday we put this wig on yesterday let me let's, how about we get up on it so we put this wig on yesterday we went swimming today her hair is blonde and i need to make sure that i um take care of her hair her hair her, hair, <laughs> her real hair so we went swimming in this wig earlier we glued it on yesterday she's still on here do that hurt? Just a little bit, actually. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm so sorry. So, Perfecto. this is the same wig we were swimming in. I'm going to post all of this on my um YouTube. Hey, Ebony. What's up, Ebony? <laughs> if y'all need help getting this type of hole, especially if you're going to be swimming this summer. Baby, okay. This is... You know, I want y'all to go back to watch my YouTube when we did this application. We took our swimming earlier. We did it on live. We used the uh, Boho oh, Max. Brrr, and I'm going to put my wig on, too. I'm going to go uh, try to get in the water tomorrow when I get to L.A. There we go. But we're about to remove her wig, and then we're going to install my wig. But I do want to talk about doing this removal process. Like, it's super important. But this is the wig we had on, on the live earlier that she was swimming in. Can we... Let me see if I can add... No, I don't think I can. You want to add some Marie? No. I was going to add the clip. I can show it to them. Hold on. I got my phone. I got Ain't my that phone. crazy? It sure is. Phone. This baby ain't going in nowhere. On the live wasn't here with us when we went swimming. Yeah, I might have been at work. <laughs> so, if you missed the live oh, earlier, <laughs> wait, I'm going to actually load the full live on my YouTube <laughs> of her. Uh, like, I was forcing her to keep going under the water, and I was like, you got to pull it. They want you to tug it or whatever, you know. <laughs> they say you are so gorgeous. Thank you, sister. But okay, so that was her earlier. Yeah, auntie is so embarrassing. I know. The old people just be doing and saying anything, don't they? She had me swimming backwards in that dog on water. I don't know who was on the live earlier. When we was um at the pool. She was swimming at the pool. But now I'm about to take this off. Her hair is blonde. When you guys decide to swim in a wig, if you're on vacation, of course, I know you don't want to take this off, right? I get it. But her hair is blonde. I have to take care of her hair. Most times, if I'm going to swim, I'm taking my wig off. I don't know if it's because I know how to put it back on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Either way, I'm going to take it off because I need to take care of her real hair. Her hair is bleach blonde. Her real hair is bleach blonde. So I want to get this wig off from swimming in the pool. You can see it's still on here. Let me wet it. Like this that. baby ain't going nowhere. Let's wet it and pull it. Even though it's not time to take it off, we're taking it off because I need to make sure that I don't damage her real hair. Not me, I'm looking y'all grill. And I understand when you're on vacation. If you're on vacation, what I want you guys to do is I want you to rinse your hair really well. Okay, we have put some tape ins in there too. See, this thing is still on here. That I was on live earlier when you were doing it. Wow, impressive. Like she's still on here. You can see her skin wrinkling up when I pull it. So it's not coming <laughs> off until I put the remover on here. This is not an oil. I know some people have it confused. They're like, well, I could just use an oil to remove my wig. Please stay away from doing stuff like that if you can because you're going to damage your, uh, shoot. You're going to damage your skin trying to get that wig off. They be like, oh, it slid right off. Guess what? Some of your peach fuzz might come off with it. <laughs> Somebody said, I'm people. <laughs> 
Some of your peach fuzz might come off with it trying to use just a regular oil. This right here is a dissolver. It's not oil, guys. I know that's what you're thinking because it's oily. It dissolves the glue. Okay? It's going to dissolve the glue. So you want to spray this on here. You might have to let it sit. It might have to sit for about five minutes. We're going to be doing like three things at one time. Okay? It might have to sit. Because look, it's still... It's still on here. Like, you got to let this sit. Be patient with it. And we glued her in the back, too. Okay, go ahead and sit up. We glued her in the back. Sorry. As Trying well. to get it all up in the business. I know. I didn't hurry up. But don't have them sitting up when you spray this stuff. Lay them back because you don't want the this stuff getting in their eyes. It's not no regular oil. It will burn. Go ahead, lay okay. Let it sit. Don't force it off. Try to schedule those appointments properly so you're not forcing it off their head. People have peach fuzz on their face. If you try to yank this off, they're going to look bald-headed. So, while that's sitting, I'm going to start my application real quick. I like, I like to let it sit but for about five or ten minutes. I'll take it. Okay. I ain't want to... Um, you good. You got your phone? Mm-hmm. I'm going to have you in about a couple minutes spray the back again. Okay. And here go an extra towel. I'm going to go do my, um. I'm going to talk to y'all while I do my install. I got to go to LA in the morning. So I need to do my hair tonight. Depending on if how the um hotel I go to, depending on how the pool look, I'll just get, I'll get in the pool with the active. I always, sorry about how all this look y'all, hold on. I always do water videos. I like to do them live because I feel like that's the best way to show, you know, people how to use a product and stuff like that. It's just the best way. Me making a water video and editing does nothing for you guys because if you are applying it, um, if you're not applying it right, you're using too much glue, you're not going to get the hold that I get. So that's why I like to do it live. So we did the install live yesterday. I'm going to load it to YouTube. I'm going to have my assistant load it to YouTube shortly. I load all my live um, water videos to YouTube. You can go back, back and watch the ones from last year if you want. Now I'm about to apply my wig. That was the remover. Right now I'm about to use the active. Let me put that in here. We have two, we have several different types of glue. They're all for use for different reasons. You know, some people be like, what's the strongest glue? My strongest glue is the max, but that don't mean it's for you. The max, you know, that don't mean it's for you. You may want to take your wig off sooner than most people. So I had put this cap on like real quick. Most times I was talking to you guys the other day. I don't know if y'all caught that, but a lot of times I don't use makeup on my caps, I'd rather just use our lace tint. Let me put that in here. And I'm gonna get y'all questions. I couldn't see y'all when I was back there. So if y'all put questions in here, I don't know if I got anybody on here moderating to help me with questions in case I miss them because I don't really like to miss questions. Oh, you all, okay, good. I can't find the tent. It, was the tent on here before? Yeah, it should have been, I thought. I don't see it. I don't feel like I hold it up. But... Uh, okay. Well, so while she's sitting, that usually requires, like, you can't rush it. The max will last for uh, four to six weeks. Most of my, um, my people that are alopecia, they love the max. Okay. So right now, I'm just going to, I don't really like to use makeup. Sometimes I play around with makeup to see what's what. But for the most part, I'm going to use my lace tint on my cap. And then I blow dry it. I already sealed my cap using the liquid gold. I don't use hairspray. Make sure y'all check out my YouTube. I explain that. That hairspray has alcohol in it. And some people be like, well, ain't nothing happened to me. Not yet. Some of us got alligator skin and nothing will ever happen. But for the most part, when I'm giving instruction, I have to get instruction for, you know, um... 90% of the population. You want to work for me? 
Let's see. I'm missing the, the um, I got people trying to help me. Do you have lace tint? Yes. We have lace tint on our website at www.thehairdiagram.com. Can you spray the lace tint in the wig cap? Yes, I did. I might have, that, might, that question might have came up. Micro links? So, for me, I personally, if you don't like to go to the salon every two weeks, I don't select. I don't suggest micro links. I only suggest that for people who go to the salon every two weeks, because it's hanging on strands of hair and it could damage your hair. Now, another thing, guys, I'm gonna say this on every live, so I hope y'all don't get tired of me. I'm not gonna use alcohol on my skin. I'm gonna use micellar water only. Okay. You can use witch hazel or something like that. But, I mean, you, we're trying to get it clean. So, you might as well use some type of makeup remover or makeup wipes. Right? Alcohol will um, damage your um, your layer of skin, your first layer of skin. Yeah, to damage it. We had an esthetician on here yesterday. She was like, yes, yes, love it, love it. Because a lot of people don't get that deep. They just like pushing the product or say, hey, this works. Just like, for instance, the microwave warms your food up just fine, don't it? That don't mean to say. Somebody said, can you spray the lace tint in the wig cap? Yeah. I'll do it right now. Hold on. If you sweat, you want to use the active. If you have dry skin, why well, I don't have them right here? I'm always starting to live unprepared. I just be like, go. So if you have dry skin, you want to use the extre extreme cream. They both hold well, but it depends on your body's pH, okay? Now, when it comes to, like, if you want something real, really, really, like, hold and hold a long time, you have to use the, the max. But some people like to take their wigs off every two weeks. Now, my people who don't have hair, who are not relying on whether their hair underneath their wig is going to stink, they don't need to take the wig off. They can keep that wig on. But a lot of people hair go sour after about two weeks. I mean, if you care about stuff like that. You know. If you care about stuff like that, then that's important. That hygiene is important to you. What can I do to make my sides not slide back so fast? Okay, we'll do that on this live. Most times, it depends on if the wig really fit or not. Sometimes these wigs, y'all, y'all got to watch these um, these people that's making these wigs. Sometimes the wig be angled back right there. So it's going to slide back. But this is a lifting area for some people. So I like to use tape. If your wig, when you put your wig on, this is what you got to look for. Some wigs, when you put them on, they be angled back, back like that. That's going to slide off. It need to cover. Like it need to cover without you doing anything. It's covered. I could put product right here. You see that? How that lay right there? That's how you know your wig ain't going to slide back. The wig is made properly. Sometimes these factory wigs are not made properly. Custom wigs is always going to be the best way to go. But sometimes, hey, you need a wig fast. You get a factory made wig and sometimes they do right. Sometimes they don't. So, let me put that on again so y'all can see. Uh, I use liquid gold. I only use liquid gold. You can watch those videos. I have them. See, on here, it don't look like it need no tint. You see it right here when I turn. So, I'm going to spray my tint. I use the caramel by the Bow Hold Collection. I'm just going to, I'm not going to spray that much. It wasn't that bad. And blow dry it. I already cleaned my skin. Go ahead and spray the back of your head. With that remover. I did. Okay. It's pretty much. And massage it. Don't pull. These installs, they should go on super quick. It shouldn't take long. Never do your installs without lace skin protect. Yes, oily skin, dry skin can use the max. It don't matter when it comes to that. If you're looking for, so people like water-based glues because they're easy to uh, remove. The max is going to take a little bit. That's why I got her back there sitting. The max may take a little bit of time to uh, to remove. So I got it sitting because I don't want to rush it off. 
you have to be delicate when you're handling with hair handling hair that's important when you care so i'm going to go ahead and use my skin protect i'm just going to put it on the corner of a towel and just dab it on don't wipe it on because you just you're going to wipe it off so i want to dab it on okay one to two layers is fine and it is both both of the glues are for sensitive skin you will have issues if you are using product that have alcohol in it because that is going to chafe your um your layer of skin so stay away from alcohol products hairspray is an alcohol it has alcohol in it and i know it's easy and simple and everybody like it but it can cause problems all right i do on my youtube i post short videos on tiktok all right, so I didn't press this back, and I'm not going to, right? But let's see where this wig going. Maybe I should press it. I'm not pressing it back. I'm not taking time to do that because I don't really have time. I'm always in a hurry. It seems like I'll never have enough time to do nothing. What brand is the blow dryer? That's a silver bird. It's like the best blow dryer in the world. All right, so I think I want my forehead to be kind of little. Okay. Where should the wig start at? Some people say just do three or four. I, I said it wherever looks the most natural. They'll say like do like four fingers. And that's where, girl, you can have it as small as you want. I could put it here, but that don't look natural, right? It's about four fingers, three to four fingers or whatever look natural. Always, if you're applying it on somebody, get in front of them so you can look at it and see what looks natural. But let me get my little marker so I don't mess this up. Because I'm good for messing it up, honey. I'm good for um, having my lace in the wrong place on my face. <laughs> I want to be a rapper. All right, so this is what we're going to do. I should have had a mirror because I know I'm blind to get a mirror. Spray that back one more time. It's up. Okay, good. What about the front? It's up. Like literally, I just did like this. Okay, I love it. I love it. I love it. All right, y'all. Here we go. So I'm going to actually mark where I want to put this wig. One thing that I need y'all to remember how you tweeze your unit is that that's going to determine some people be like oh it's the hd it's the swiss sometimes to me i i think that is how it's tweezed is what make it look natural you got to take your time and tweeze it so i can't see right there so i feel like i want my forehead i want my forehead to be like that right to where it's at Ooh. I don't like how they did that, but as long as I can see where to put this glue chair. This is a white eyeliner. Now I know where to go. Okay. Okay. That's a head head, ain't it? That's a head. You sure got a head on you, girl. All right. So now that we know where the glue goes, this is why people wigs not lasting. They be making the glue too. They be doing too much glue. Don't put a whole bunch of dots, okay? Just do a dot and drag it. Put it on the skin. If you put it on the hair, it's going to take too long to dry. Okay. Just imagine if I had a whole bunch of dots up here, right? Uh, I don't like that dot, but it will work with it. Glide this. I don't like that dot. Just glide it, spread it. Like, if you put all those dots up there, you might be having too much glue. This thing is about to pop open. They said, where's the wig from? Uh, I always get all my wigs from my students. I don't supply any hair or like, I just get them from my students and I always tag them. I can't remember which this one is from, either from Shani or from Flamboyant, but I always get them from my students. Do you see a, um, 
Oh, here go one. Hold on, y'all. Hold on, let me see that thing real quick. Okay, so y'all be using too much glue. That's why y'all uh, installs don't last. I don't care what nobody say, and I don't care what you heard. Because tomorrow, I'm going to find a pool to get in when I get to L.A. With this install. So y'all can see. I'm not a swimmer. I can't swim, but I will get it wet. It's a water-based glue. It's not for deep sea diving, but you can get it wet if you apply it right. Okay. Let me see if I did that right. Mm. I messed up this nozzle, y'all. Hold on. I don't know how I did that, but that happens. So I'll just put it on here because I don't know how it's going to add. They said how many layers of glue? So t since I know that I, I only do two layers, but I know I'm going to try to get in the pool tomorrow. So I'm going to do uh four. Four thin layers like this. You see how far that come down? Don't be using, don't make it, that layer too thick. They need to be thin, right? So just put it a little bit at a time and drag it, okay? Auntie, they said when they, they get in that hot pink glue, but it should have mixed packaging, correct? Yeah, we have to keep changing our labels because people uh be trying to knock off the glue. And then they had everybody online crying. Boho don't work. Some of, a lot of that stuff be fake. But I'm going to show y'all how to get a good install right here. How long do you have to wait before you sweat? Before you sweat? You should, um, I mean, it can't get, it needs to be dry for at least um, 24 hours. I wouldn't go work out or anything until it's uh, cured for 24 hours. I don't care what nobody say. Like, I can go wet this. Y'all didn't see me go live in less than 24 hours and get it wet, but don't do that. If you want the maximum hold, let it let it cure for 24 hours. Okay? If you want that maximum hold, let it cure. If you know, like I know that I'm going to try to go get in the water when I get to my hotel. So I'm going to do four layers. Okay? Y'all, can y'all see how thin these this layer is? You see how it, it, it'll dry faster when you make the layers thin. Don't think that using more glue is going to make it hold better. Okay? Is this the best glue for going to Six Flags or a water park? Water, if you know, if you know for sure that you're going to be swimming, I recommend the Max that we used on um, Adia yesterday. I'm going to post that live. We, we went to, uh, we got on live and went uh, swimming today. With the max, we knew she was going to swim. If you're not sure, if you think you're just going to be kind of like play around in the water, you're not really trying to do too much. Like what I'm going to do tomorrow. You know, you're not really doing too much. You might get wet. You might get the, the lace a little wet. You might, you know, dip your head here and there. You're not really doing a whole lot. The active will be fine. It's water-based. So water-based can only do so much. But I mean, I be doing a lot with it, but I apply it. Just like I'm applying right now. I'll take it as far as I can take it tomorrow. Can I buy on Amazon? You sure can. Make sure that you uh, go through our website to get to the Amazon Prime. So you're not getting... Because sometimes it's hard for me to keep up with the fakes on Amazon. But we do try to do our best. And they make us share reviews. So you don't know what's what. Okay? That's just how Amazon is set up. We share the reviews. So nobody knows what's up. When y'all looking at it from y'all side, y'all just said the hair diagram boho. It ain't saying choo-choo. Poo poo, cuckoo is all selling this, uh, selling boho. Some of it's fake, some of it's not. There's a link on our website that would take you directly to for the Amazon Prime in the menu bar. Dang, what did I do? I well, I'll I be jumping on this line. I'll never be ready, but we gotta work it out. All right, so now you know, I wrote, I put those little dots on there. Now I know where my glue going. I'm going to take my micellar water and I'm going to get those dots off while that first layer is dry. I'm going to use tape as well because I know I'm getting in the water. It's no question. I know I'm getting in the water. So since I'm already aware of that, I'm going to take the necessary steps 
to make sure I get that hole that I need for water. But if you're just going to the water to be cute or you're going to be outside in the heat, then you fine. I got some of that, uh, I got some of that eyeliner in my glue. Y'all try not to do that. Say that again. Just till it turn clear. But I got a little um makeup right there. The eyeliner got in there. Let me get that out. You only you just wait till it turn clear. But it ain't. It's gonna take a long time to turn clear if y'all using a lot of glue. But look at how thin the layer was though. People be having five hundred dots across their face. <clears throat> But you see how far one dot go. Okay, so after that first layer, well, I do it on I do it on the second one because I just want to get to this real quick. Cause you know, people be jumping all jumping off, and I be needing y'all. I need y'all to catch on to this. So listen, if you put 500 dots across your face, look how far one dot go. Okay, that's one, okay. Okay, look how far that went. What if I had had several? I still see some of the, um, it don't matter because I'm trying to go to the pool anyway. Several dots. Like, you see how far one went? Y'all using too much glue. Look at how little that bottle is. And, I, and, and you know how some people, like, they just be like, yeah, use up all that glue, then you buy more. But that's not right because I need you to get the, the proper hold. Okay, that's important to me, the reputation. Okay, this bottle is too little for y'all to be using all that glue. She said, because I'm watching everyone else. Because I'm watching everyone else but the one I need. I'm here now. I did too much. But a lot of y'all gotta realize the influencers take it. They about to, as soon as they get done, they're, they put their wig on. They about to take the wig off and go put on another wig. Okay, just keep that in mind. They about to take it off, child. I was in hair replacement for over, um, at the beginning of my career, I worked for a hair club for men. I'm telling y'all, like, this is how we were shown how to do it. Except for, you know, those people didn't have any hair. So, you know, we could put the glue everywhere. But I have to show y'all how to do it for people that's wearing it just for fun. Or just for the change up they look. See, we already clear over there. If it touches hair, though, it's, it's going to probably take a little longer to dry. Because it's for skin. And you notice I don't put it on my cap. If it get on the cap, it'll take longer to dry over there too. Sometimes it touch it. That's not my goal. My goal is to get it on my skin. If you got a low hairline, you need to go watch our low hairline videos. If you got a low hairline, I need you using the tape and the uh, glue. Because I want you to put the... We're about to do it now. I want you to put the tape on top of the cap. So you can put glue on top of the cap. So the glue don't get on your hair. That's what's up. That's I'm 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 your auntie. I gotta make sure I take care of you. That's my job. Oh! All right, you see, we clear over here already. I still got a little makeup dots right there, but we ain't gonna worry about that because I'm getting in the pool tomorrow. Now at this point, them two layers. Now I'm gonna go in with my tape. I'm not, I don't know. I might put, yeah, I'm going to just do it because I need y'all to see this. I was like, I wasn't going to put it all over, but I'm going to do it because I need y'all to see. Because I'm taking this wig off. If I get anything in my hair, any type of um, bleach, salt water, I'm taking my wig off. Thank y'all for the love. So after you get this, after the, the layer turns clear, you want to go ahead and put this right here for that person that was talking about the size coming up. Sometimes I'll just do tape on the sides, but I know I'm getting in the water, right? So I'm going to do more tape. We're going to do more glue, too. Um, Y'all, I be just jumping on live. I swear, I don't be having no kind of... nobody. Okay, here we go. Yes, when applied properly, it is. When applied the way that I'm doing it, yes. It definitely is. If you need help applying the products, you don't have nothing to worry about because guess what? 
we will FaceTime you, but you have to email us. We'll FaceTime you. There's no reason for nobody to have no trouble using Boho products because we provide free FaceTime for you. All right, so I'm going to go ahead since I know that I'm getting in the water. And for those with a low hairline, you can also do this too. You can put this on your skin and partially on the cap or more on the cap, whatever you want to do so that you can go back further. Because I know everybody forehead not big like mine. Everybody don't have this. Right? So if you don't have that and you smaller on the sides or whatever is going on, pull that cap down, cover your hair, put the tape on top of the cap so you can put the glue on there. Don't just throw that. I know y'all see people throwing glue on there on top of those cap. Don't do it. Well, my hair's never came out, Auntie. You one in a million. Some some people, a lot of people hair is coming out because the styles are putting that um glue on top of the um cap. Do you have to use the cap is what someone Nope. I just do it because my braids ugly. <laughs> I got a big, I got a lot of facial. I got a lot of um room. So I don't have to. I like it for low hairlines though. I ain't gonna hold y'all on that. I like it for low hairlines. Do you sleep with the wig band? Oh uh, no, I get a headache. I don't. And and make sure y'all go back. I'm gonna load that video. I'm gonna have my assistant load that video because I wanna make sure y'all know not to use the wig band with the max. I specified that when we did her uh application. Do not use it with the max, y'all. You can use a satin band with the max. That glue is a whole nother story. But y'all got to watch that video when I load it. I'm going to try to load it tonight. It just downloaded in TikTok. I'm going to just stop, stop right there. That's good enough. All right. You shouldn't have a hard time taking this tape off. This one girl, she was like, I can't get the tape off. You can't pull it from here. It was made like this so that you could take it right from the middle. I do that in every video. They be like, Auntie, I watched the video. Y'all can't be watching it with your eyes closed, niece. Open your eyes and you'll see the surprise. Open your eyes and you'll see the surprise. So now you can go back further if needed. And you don't even have to put, you know, yeah, tape carry a little shine or whatever. You can conceal that with makeup and powder and all that. Head so big right here. I don't got to do it right there. But, you know, for people with low hairlines, I'll just take the tape up that far. And that's it. And that's that. And that's it. And that's that. Now for those who want to put tape on top, I mean glue on top of the cap. Now you're you can. The cap is porous. Anything liquid will go through it. All right. You got some people to be going through um this something y'all y'all gotta keep in mind, hairstyles, young hairstylists. You had a lot of people who have a lot of autoimmune deficiencies, all right. You have a lot of people out here with cancer, different type of issues. So when that happens, the follicle is inflamed. When that follicle is inflamed, when you get stressed out, your follicle can get inflamed, which means the slightest pull is going to take their hair out. Okay? People be, we out here, we going through a lot. We got a lot going on in life. When those follicles get, um... Inflamed, and like I said, stress can get your follicles inflamed. Any type of hair loss, your follicles gonna get in. They're gonna become inflamed before you lose hair. Okay, so you take somebody who is on medication, and you know they going, they got stuff going on, or whatever it is that they going on, some type of autoimmune uh, deficiency, or some they probably don't even know they got something going on. Like I said, stress is going to inflame the follicles. So if you pull this wig off wrong, the hair coming with it. So don't put glue on hair. Okay, we ain't ready to put that on because I'm getting in the water. So we got to do two more layers, okay? So this is what I mean, y'all. Right here. This is what I'm saying, y'all. Don't use too much glue. This is a question I never seen this. Somebody asked, does the tape need to dry down at all? No, it's, it's, ready to, it's ready to hold as soon as you use it. You don't have to use anything. Go watch my videos on YouTube. You could just put tape. Use tape. But I'm getting in the water tomorrow, so I want to do extra. All right, so this is what I want everybody to start doing. I want you to put your drop on here, or you can use uh, whatever you use. And then drag it. Don't put all those dots across your face. They be like, well, Auntie, I made them tiny, but I don't want you to get confused. So just do one dot and drag it. Then add more. I don't want you to be confused on how much glue to use. This is going to make your wig tight. 
Nobody believes me until they actually do it. This is what's going to make your wig tight. You're going to have a headache. You're going you gonna to think you got on that elastic band. It's going to be so tight. People don't believe me until they do. Be like, Auntie, I tried it. The wig was so tight. It hurt. So just do like, if you need to do this to make you make yourself slow down, do this. Now, for the people that need to go back further, you can. Because I got tape right there as a barrier to protect me. Okay? And give me extra hole. Give you extra hole. Right now, I'm using it for extra hole, but you can use the tape alone. You remove it with the uh, bowl hole lace remover, what we used earlier at the beginning of the live. All my lives are saved, and I'll put them on my YouTube. If you want to get a tight hold, you want to use less glue. Nobody believe me till they do it. Be like, oh, my God, my wig was so tight, my head hurt. I bet. I'm uh I usually do two layers and it be tight, but I'm gonna get in the water for you guys as soon as I get to my hotel. Okay. I'm gonna do one more layer after this. And they be like, oh my glue wouldn't dry. I bet. You know why it didn't dry? Because this is how your layer look. Thick like that. It'll never dry. Or guess what? Some of that ain't your fault. Sometimes your body hot. If your body hot, water-based, not just bowl hole, any glue, because everybody got their favorite. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Any white water-based, just, just for y'all, auntie, just telling y'all. Any white water-based glue, I've been in this industry for a long time. I know how it's all formulated. It's water-based. It's water-based. So it got more water in there than anything. Okay. So when your body temperature is hot, like if you having a, um, uh, what you call it, menopause, you having a, a heat, whatever you got going on, while you're applying it, it's going to turn white, okay? They're pH, they're pH activated, okay? So you want to drink water during the application. If you're a hot nature person, if you're hot natured, and sometimes you just all of a sudden get hot, before you even start applying that glue, drink some ice cold water. It's going to instantly cool your body down, okay? And then you may want to drink it as you are, while you're applying, okay? That's the only way. Was that, how many layers is it? Is that, that was three. Three, yeah. Okay, so let's, this is the last one because I'm going to dunk my head in the water tomorrow. Okay. I wish y'all would come, like when I go back live again, y'all be like, Auntie, I did it just like you told me and... It was so tight. I love when I hear that. Auntie, will you uh, tell the people who just got on how we went swimming? We got a couple questions on there about swimming. Okay, what they said. She, one of the girls asked how much maintenance I had to do after. That's what I was talking about earlier on the live. You might have just got on here. So I was telling you guys earlier that um, you got to rinse that wig. You gotta, if you're leaving it on, if you're on vacation, you got to rinse it out real good. For me, I'm taking my wig off and put it back on because I'm a hairstylist. I know how that get how that goes down when you in those chemicals, that salt water. I'm not willing to jeopardize my hair, so I'm gonna take my wig off and put it back on. But everybody can't do that, so you just want to rinse it as long as you can, and then you want to dry it. Make sure you take a hand dryer and dry it really well. I even showed you guys at the beginning of this live. Uh, I wet her hair, and her wig was still on there. It wouldn't move. Okay, at the beginning of the live, the live will be saved and I'll add it to my um, YouTube. But I was just showing you guys what I wanted you to do. Rinse it out real good for a long time. Dry it. And um, you should be good till you get home. But I'm, I'm going to take my wig off. I ain't going to even hold y'all now. I'm going to take my wig off and put it right back on. Because I'm going to wash my real hair and make sure I'm good. But that's just me. Everybody don't know how to you know, do they own hair. And that's why you have hairstyles. But I'm just telling you, if you don't, just rinse it really well. I be scared it's going to be sour. Y'all see how thick, like these is, this is not, don't, I'm going to tell you what to mess you up, putting them dots across your face. You're going to use too much glue. And I keep telling y'all, a lot of times the influencers that's doing it, they're about to take their wig off and put on a whole nother wig. So it ain't going to matter. Say that. 
No, I don't have an adhesive spray because in order to make a spray, it has to contain certain components that are not healthy to be sprayed directly on the skin. So make sure you go back and look at my pinned um, video where I talk about using hairspray directly on the skin. It was designed for hair. But if you don't really care about that, that's not a big issue for you then. You know, there are a lot of people that do sell um, hairspray turn lace adhesive that you can purchase. But if, if that's a big deal to you, you need to go check out that video if, you, if that's something that, you know, you're concerned about your skin and stuff. If it gets hot, if it gets um, heat to it, if you don't keep it in a cool area, it'll lose its um, its hole, just like glue, leaving the top off. That was four, wasn't it? Huh? That was four, wasn't just it? Then, yeah. Okay, so we about to put this wig on, and then we are gonna go back here and take care of my knees here. Not me, ain't gonna lie. Are you good, girl? I need the charger. You good. We don't want to lay it down on white. They be making videos and they be smiling. Why y'all be smiling and that glue be um still white? <laughs> you should have a frown on your face when you lay that lace down and it's white. I want y'all from now on, when y'all make a video and the glue is still white, frown. So you know that's wrong. <laughs> Okay, it has to be clear. They want to know what product did you just apply? So, oh, sorry. Hold on, y'all. There it go. It's on there. No, oh, I didn't pin it. it. I didn't pin it. They know what they doing. All right, so we are using the bow hole active. I'm going to uh, get it wet tomorrow. I use very very thin layers. What is that? Is that the tape folded? Oh, that's the tape folded. I thought it was glue. Anyway, I'll be going too fast sometimes, but who cares? All right. Is that a glare? That's a glare. All right, so now we're ready to put her on. For low hairline near the temple, oh, I can't talk, Lord. For low hairline or hairline near the temple, does the wig need customizing? Yes. Don't let them put that wig on you like that, girl. <laughs> Call the police. If they do that, they be like, oh, I did customize it. I know you dropped it off five days ago, and they still put it on you like it came. You call the police or call me and drop your location. How do you get the glue off your skin and wig? So I prefer for you use soapy water and a towel. We're about to do it now. I'm about to take y'all back here and do my knees. That was easy. Y'all be making this so hard. So we're going to take a cold blow dryer. Okay. Cold air. It ain't no glue on earth that you use heat on. I don't care what you heard. I don't care what they said. Listen to your auntie. I love you more. Okay. Ask your science teacher if y'all don't want to listen to me. Don't put hot air on glue. Now, what I like to do, guys, I like to, I like to, I don't care. You can do a comb if you want to, but it ain't going to do like your hand. Because you know what? I want to see it, if it's sticky. All right? Sometimes I go on top and I'll add a little lace to it. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But I'm kind of in a hurry. And if you have some... <laughs> If you have some pieces that where you need to go back and add, you can. But I'm kind of in a hurry, so I don't know if I'm going to do that. So I, need to, I haven't even packed. You sure haven't. I'm only going to be there for one day. Anybody in here from L.A.? I'm going to be there tomorrow. <laughs> With no time to see them. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be there tomorrow. I'll be there tomorrow. I'll be there tomorrow. Okay, so okay, yeah, but I see where I could use a little tent. See how when you turn this way, because I'm all about my camera. Okay, so when I look right here, it's like, oh, that look okay. But when I turn this way, you can see it right there. So let's fix that. And then we're gonna go back here and take care of my knees. Tint just on today. So I use tent. 
You said cool air or hot air? Air always use cool air. Don't ever use heat on glue. I don't care what you heard. I don't care what they say. Listen to your auntie. I love you more than they do. They pretend like they love you, but I, I, I actually do. Okay, so you see how that hit? That's how giddy images. Giddy images is they hate lace. Giddy. Giddy images or giddy. Okay, so turn to the side. This is how you get giddy. Turn to the side. That's how you get they butt. I hate them. They photographers, all of them. They be trying to set us up. But I'm gonna help my nieces. They think they gonna get us, but we can. Yeah, we, she we be out of control. Turn to you. Got to turn to the side in that ring light, because they be trying to set us up. Mm -mm, not my nieces. Y'all not gonna do us. No. Cold air. Trying to get a uh, blow dry with the cool shot. Baby, don't listen to them. They be like, don't touch it, don't touch. But listen to me. I, I know what I'm talking about. Press this in. Don't listen to the people. They be having y'all on here doing this. They be, they be like, girl, you gotta use your hand. Press that lace in there until it's not sticky. They be like, Auntie, don't touch it. You got your hands are greasy. Why are you even doing hair with greasy hands? Huh? Does the lace can make the hair uh I ain't. I use the brush, so I ain't got that much on there. Period. Let me see. That's why I didn't spray it. Sorry, I forgot to say that. So at this point right here, y'all better listen to me. Them people don't love y'all like I do. <laughs> and I wasn't like earlier, like I was saying about the white water-based glue. Not just my glue, all water, white glue. If you hot, you gonna have to drink some cold water. Before you start that application and during that application. That go for all white glues, y'all. Okay. Okay. All right, let's go to the back. Let's go. I'm so clumsy. I only got to take one outfit, right? Because I'm going to be back on the plane tomorrow night. Thursday night. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. They need to. That's how we almost messed up that flight, didn't we? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was going oh, that is cute, cute. I was going to be coming back the same day. <laughs> <laughs> so, we let her wig sit. Did I not bring my uh, phone back here? Your yeah, who? My other phone. Because, mm -hmm. you know, I'm it. always considerate of my new people that jumped on. I be like, they be like, auntie, you already said that, but it's new people in here. I got new nieces and nephews in here, so I got to make sure they know what's going on. I do not ignore my nieces and nephews to the best of my ability. How many stocking caps you put on? This one, right? One, yeah. I've seen people well, no. do two. Sometimes I do two. <laughs> I have two so before. When I get braided right. Same. Well, when I'm just being ultra lazy. Right. When I pull it, because that other, um, that thick cap. The one that's not HD, it'll hold your hair down better. Really? The HD don't hold it down like But that. yours actually uh, hold mine, but that's because they're nice and snug. I don't know about that. I'd be good to go, not baby. Me. Are you serious? I guess I'd be rushing. I don't know. Me, that might be the first thing we don't agree on because I like your caps better than the one. Okay, so if you just uh, jumped on here, you just became one of my uh -uh. nieces and nephews. <laughs> oh, you did. <laughs> yeah, so this is what she did earlier. She went swimming. Mm-hmm. And the wig did not come off. We dipped our hair several times. I'm going to load it on YouTube so y'all can watch it live. The people that missed it. And so today when we started this live, before I did my install, um, we sprayed her down with the Boho Lace Remover. Please don't let these people convince y'all y'all can use oil to take these wigs off. Because what's going to happen is it's going to snatch some of your little peach fuzz off your face because it's not a dissolvent. This is not oil, Okay. We're going to have to start having science classes. This is not oil. I know it's oily, but it's formulated to dissolve glue. Okay? Okay. 
Mountain okay. All right, let me get this where my babies can see what we're doing because I don't need them taking their hair out or taking nobody else's hair out. My babies. I don't know why they don't take care of my nieces and nephews <laughs> like that, but that's what I'm cheap for. So we let this sit. It's probably as long as I did that live. That's how long it's that. Okay. She's been in the pool. I, I actually, at the beginning of the live, mm -hmm. I, um, um, you did a good job. You didn't pull nothing, did you? No. But no. either way it go, everything I'm is still in place. <laughs> now she, we wet this. And it's on your forehead. Hmm? Which bro? Yeah, hold on. Oh. Wait, hold on, hold on. <laughs> oh, let me see. Come on, you got to get over there. It ain't my forehead. I had to fix something else. Praise God. <laughs> Tag my stylist. She did me dirty. Uh-oh. She said she's tagged. She tagged her. And you style. see, we wet this up. I wet it in here, and she been in the pool. It's still in place. Well, I, I don't want to say that people doing y'all dirty. Let's be clear. Some people don't know, nieces, nephews. Some people just don't know, okay? That's why I will never stop being on here educating y'all because I know a lot of people don't know. You got a lot of people that take hold of, um, you know, trends, and they just run with it. Sometimes you got a lot of people that want to be the first and they are not considering uh, safety, okay? You got a lot of people that want to show up and be first and they're not thinking about safety. That's not important to them. What's important to them is being first, being viral. But you got to take care of people's hair under these wigs because this process was made for people who don't have hair. You got forehead just like mine, boo-boo. Do. Hold a lot this. of room. We can do Hold anything this. we want. Thanks, y'all. My boo-boo got a big old pretty head. Just like mine. I just want y'all to know I love her and she gets on my very last <laughs> Not you running to me like Barbie. Hey, sunshine. It's a little thread right there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. One thing you're not going to do is pull my hair no matter what. Right. That was from the uh, the clip of the wig in the back. And that's something I was telling them about, like, because I want to put together my own little team where I, because uh, a lot of people reach out to me for um, looking for stylists, like for, for movies, mm -hmm. celebrities. They be like, hey, Tamika, who do you suggest? And you know what I be thinking, like, who is going to take care of their hair? Like, because sometimes these, the celebrities, they show up like they have a lot going on. Mm -hmm. And they may not have rinsed something out of their head properly. Are you going to uh, mess up the integrity of their real hair yeah. to make sure that your style look good? What you going to do? You going to meet in the middle? What you going to do? Because mm -hmm. it be times like that. You ain't lying. They be like, oh, such and such took my hair out. But what was the whole story behind it? They said, what's those yellow bottles back there, by the way? Oh, that's what we're about to use. These are my new products with my daughter. Ashley Marie Collection. Yes. We're going to talk about that next. We have a clarifying shampoo, a moisturizing shampoo. Notice how I'm taking my time. I'm not going to rush this off, even though she has it loosened. You don't want to rush it. If you rush it, you going you could damage somebody. Like I, I feel like this will slide, but I want it to slide, slide. Okay, let me get you something so you don't. You gotta take your time. Don't be scheduling all those people. Get you a shampoo tech. Get shampoo techs. You can pay the minimum wage and tip them at the end of the week. They'll stay with you for a long time, or just get you more shampoo techs. Rotate them. Do not rush on these people with these uh, removing these wigs, or don't rush on yourself. Should I use a wig cap on a buzz cut when applying? No, you don't have to. Thank you. Wig caps originally were designed to create a fake scalp underneath the wig. I prefer them on people with low hairlines. Like herself, her hair comes out right here on the side. Okay? Sometimes that'll show up under the lace wig. If it's a really thin lace, it may show up. So to keep it from showing up, that's why you that's why you see the trend with the caps. It creates a fake scalp. But, but we got taking this stuff off people. Don't do that. That's wrong. They be trying to get to another client. I understand that. Don't miss schedule. Schedule properly. And having people take their own wig off, I, I don't like that either. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, so you're not with the come wash and blow dry? Yes, no, you know that. Oh, that's you or that's the you know. 
You nah, said that? I'm making a point about today's society when they want you to come wash and blow dry. So I think with that theory, when that Thank started, you. it started with braiders. It started with non-license. It started with some license because it was faster getting people out. Fair. But why, why um, jeopardize the integrity of somebody's hair for, for, for time? That's not right. It's not right. If you care, it's not right. We got everything off back here, huh? Yes, ma'am. Let me see. Said they're lazy. What if you spray the lace remover and use a steam cap? Will it slide easier? What's the That's steam possible. cap? That's possible. What's the steam cap? I don't know. I don't know if that'll cause any irritation. I, I don't think I would do heat because I know that y'all think that this is an oil, but it's a dissolvent. So that might irritate. Okay, so I don't know how I feel about that. Thinking about how this is formulated, I don't think I would do heat. They said bring your own hair, chair, and products. <laughs> Lee, man, they doing my nieces and nephews dirty out here. <laughs> I don't know. I think that I have met a lot of good hairstyles. Y'all just got to be okay with not sitting in people hair that people chair that don't got a million followers. And sometimes you got to go to those uh, hairstylists and give people a chance. Like, just say, like, you got somebody, they don't do lace all that well, right? Yeah, but I bet you they take care of your hair. Sometimes you got to give them a chance to learn how to get the lace right. But I feel like they need to be taking some classes. They said, right, they're green. Yes, here are a lot of bomb stylists. Where are you located? We in Alabama. Auntie, you talking that talk, my girl. Yeah, y'all got to... Uh, give people a chance out here. Like these people like that don't have a lot of followers. Sometimes y'all don't have to give them a chance because a lot of them are doing the right thing when it comes to taking care of the integrity of the hair. This is loose, but I'm not finna pull it. I need it to slide off basically by itself. Okay. Some of this is liquid gold. That liquid gold don't be playing, do it? Not at all. At this point, uh -oh, that's what we go. I'm missing a few questions that look kind of weird. Is it safe to do um okay, is it safe to do a lace front meltdown when you have a relaxer in? A lace front just don't put glue on the hair. That's how you saw them back. But I know it's hard for people to not put glue on these caps. And that's why I try my best to uh educate you guys on use if you feel like you need to, like this right here. If you feel like you need to put glue on this cap. Auntie wants you to put tape on the cap. And then you can put glue on the tape. If you feel like you need to go, like right here, that's what I was telling you about my install. I didn't have no tape on her up here, but I had the tape here because I know her edges come out here. And I know I'm going to need some glue right here. But I know her hair right there. I can't just care about the end result. I got to care about her hair. They said that liquid gold, the real deal. Thank y'all. Do you have a video on how to install a wig on a buzz cut? Uh, on a buzz? I don't, but that would be a good idea. Right, I, just thought of, I just thought that. Don't you get no ideas. <laughs> I just laughed. <laughs> how you feel about, uh oh, how you feel about removing with alcohol? I think, I think whoever's asking that already knows. <laughs> and they wanted to just talk about it and that's cool because you ha I have to keep reiterating that alcohol is going to damage the first layer of your skin rubbing that off that's why okay so yeah I love that you brought that up I just thought about something else because guess what people be like oh the glue is burning people that remove this because it's so much faster it ain't oily that's why people run to alcohol because they want to get this off quick right so when they take that alcohol right and they like oh let me get it off because right now she got she's sticky she got glue right here. We're about to get it off. I'm about to show you. So they, instead of them doing what I'm about to show you, they'll take alcohol and get all this off, right? They'll take alcohol, get it off. It's super fast. And then they reinstall. Mm -hmm. And they're like, the glue burn me, auntie. <laughs> and I'm like, girl, I've been doing this before you was born. <laughs> the glue is liquid plastic. <laughs> Are you allergic to plastic? Unless you got some fake <laughs> boho. So that's why you got people having all these issues. Nobody wants to follow instructions. Everybody want to take shortcuts or they're following their favorites who don't know what they're doing. And that's all. I'm moving slow, auntie. Pretty hey. So we went swimming. 
I'm going to use the Ashley Marie Clarifying Shampoo. You mean moisturizer? No. Clarifying. Okay. Always do clarifying after you, especially after you swim. Okay. Oh. <laughs> the eucalyptus. <laughs> always clarify. Always, always, always clarify. Never, ever, 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 ever. After that pool, you want to uh, clarify. Every time. Clarifying does all the remaining. You can, no, we about to get the remaining off. I'm about to show y'all how to get the remaining off. This is what I want y'all to do. She's still sticky. She got glue right here. This is what I want y'all to do. I want you to take a wet towel. This is, she's still sticky. I don't don't grab that alcohol. I don't care what you heard. I don't care what they said. And when they doing it on their live, you go in there. You said my auntie gonna get you. My auntie gonna get you using that alcohol, trying to do that fast reinstall. Cause she came in to get cleaned up. You better use some micellar water. So this is what I want you to do. I want you to take that shampoo to get the rest of the residue off. I show you this on my YouTube. Okay. This is all I want you to do. Don't put the alcohol on there. It's so tempting because it's so fast. But is that worth messing up the integrity of your skin and your hair? I don't think so, but you may not care. It's not worth it. It's not worth using that alcohol to do a reinstall and then say, it's burning. It's not worth it. Of course it's going to burn. It's not worth it using that hairspray on that cap. Oh my God, I've used this glue before and it didn't burn and today it's burning. You created a, um irritation over time. It didn't burn last year. You might have alligator, alligator skin like mine and it takes six months <laughs> to break that skin down. She be saying some crazy stuff. You know? You might have alligator skin like mine and it takes six months for that hairspray mm -hmm. to get to that skin like it's doing Susie next to you. Get to her the first time. That's all I want y'all to do. And my baby still got her itches. And, uh, and it's all the glue is gone. It feels so good, by the way. I be about to fall asleep. I'm trying to all stay the glue is gone. Live. I forgot about the neck. It's okay. Oh yeah, I did too. Oh my god. Oh my god, I forgot too. That was a whole 360. That I you know, that's what tripped me out. That how the neck ain't move at all. But like, but you know, we did uh three layers. Fair. Because I had I pulled it in that side ponytail and I didn't want me what I had did to interrupt uh, embarrass us on live today. Baby, I know what to do if I'm trying to hit the beach and be in the water, though. Don't nah, but it. I want them to, you know, I don't like, I like to make sure they can see what the real tea is. Of course. And I knew we did that side ponytail, so I know it was pulling. Okay, she all clean, baby. There we go. That's all y'all got to do. That's all y'all got to do. <laughs> but I tell y'all what, if you need help using any of my products, we have a bomb customer service that will FaceTime you. And whether y'all schedule a FaceTime or not, they getting paid. And I don't like that. I don't like it. So you said make them work. I don't like it. I don't like when I be like, hey, how many FaceTimes did y'all do today? They be like, oh, we did three. I don't like that. So some of y'all just call it just for GP. <laughs> Okay, go to the website, click contact us, and schedule a free FaceTime. Okay, so I'm about to shampoo her with the clarifying shampoo, and then I'm going to do the moisturizing shampoo, and then we have a hydrating shampoo conditioner. Make sure y'all follow Ashley Marie Collection. We have so many videos on there showing you how to take care of your natural hair under there. Okay. I'm going to jump off this live, y'all. I will see y'all tomorrow 
when I get to my um hotel, I'm going uh, to get in the pool with this. I'm not swimming because I'm wearing a water-based glue, but I'm going to duck my head so many times. And the wig is not going to move. Okay? Okay. <laughs> See y'all later.